Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, there are two paths in front of you. Which do you choose? One path leads to life. The other leads to destruction. Now, I know the easy answer is, oh, we're going to choose life because we're good people and we always want to do what's right. But the real answer is, it depends. It really depends on our mood. It depends on the circumstances. It depends on what we're feeling. It depends really on how close we are walking with Jesus. Romans chapter 6, verse 11, the Apostle Paul encourages us, admonishes us, challenges us. So you also must consider yourselves dead to sin and alive to God in Christ Jesus. Now, this is at the end of a passage where he's been talking about the picture of baptism and how it's a picture of how we died to our old way of life. and We've been raised to a new life. And so we're dead to our old habits. We're dead to our old patterns of destruction. And now we're alive to Jesus and he's going to fill our, our souls and, and we're going to live differently. And, and so we need to understand that if you're a follower of Christ, every moment, every decision that you make, you are choosing the path that you're going to take that day in that moment. You're either going to be alive to God and dead to sin, or you're going to be alive to sin and dead to God. Now, not spiritually dead, but I just want you to understand if your spiritual life is withering, if you feel distant from God, if you feel like you know, you're stuck and, and you're going backwards, this might be the issue. It might be the simple choices you're making every day to be alive to sin. Because the more alive to sin you become, the further away God feels. But when we repent, when we acknowledge that we need God, when we try to follow Him, when we choose life over and over and over again, our relationship with Jesus comes alive. And it, and it fills us and it changes us on a daily basis, on a regular basis. Um, it's so simple and yet so difficult. It's kind of like dieting for your souls. I don't know about you, but when I'm trying to eat right, you know, every bad thing looks good and my body cries out for it. But I know if I choose the right foods, if I choose to eat healthy, I'm going to feel better. I'm going to be better. My body's going to do better. And usually I choose well, but sometimes I don't. And when I don't, I'm usually not very repentant about it. I just gain weight until my pants don't fit, and then I have to do something about it. And we can be that way too, being alive to sin and dead to God. We think we can manage it. We think we can skate for a little while. And the next thing we know, we're spiritually out of shape, and we feel far from God. So today, I'm going to, choose, I'm going to encourage you to choose the path that leads to life. Choose the path that makes you alive to Christ and dead to sin. I pray that blesses you, and I'm asking, I'm asking God that he'll give you a great day. God bless.